Dear students, a very warm welcome to all of you. This is English Grammar and today we will be talking about tenses. Tenses are verb forms. They tell us when an action happens. Does it happen in the present, in the past or the future? There are three tenses, present, past, and future. The present tense shows action in the present. The past tense shows action in the past. And the future tense shows action in the future. Here are some examples. I'm eating an apple right now. Right now refers to the present. This is the present tense. The present tense shows action in the present. In the next sentence, I ate an apple yesterday. Yesterday refers to the past. The past tense shows action in the past, such as yesterday. I will eat an apple tomorrow. In this sentence, tomorrow refers to the future. The future tense shows action in the future, such as tomorrow. Each tense is divided into simple tenses, continuous tenses, perfect tenses, and perfect continuous tenses. Each of these tenses have present tenses, past tense, and future tense. Today we will be talking about simple tenses, simple or indefinite tenses. Simple tense has simple present tense, simple past tense, and simple future tense. Continuous tense also has present continuous tense, past continuous tense, and future continuous tense. Perfect tenses are also present perfect tense, past perfect tense, and future perfect tense. Perfect continuous are present perfect tense, past perfect tense, and future perfect tense. We said each tense is divided into simple tenses, continuous tenses, perfect tenses, and perfect continuous tenses. And each of these tenses has present, past, and future tenses. Today we are talking about simple or indefinite tenses. Simple tenses are, we said, simple present tense, simple past tense, and simple future tense. Simple present tense refers to an action that is happening in the present. Simple past tense shows action in the past and simple future tense shows action in the future. These are simple or indefinite tenses. 
simple present tense, simple past tense, and simple future tense. Simple present tense. We use the simple present tense to express an action which happens over a period of time, as a habit or a fact. In other words, to express a habitual action. Today we are talking about simple present tense. Simple present tense is used for actions done again and again for a long time. For example, he gets up at 7 o'clock. We play cricket. You sing well. These sentences show us actions done again and again. He gets up at 7 o'clock. That means a habit. He usually gets up at 7 o'clock, not just today or yesterday. He usually gets up at 7 o'clock. This means an action which is done again and again for a long time. This is his habit. He gets up at 7 o'clock. We play cricket. That means something that is happening again and again for a long time. We play cricket. Not just now, but usually we play cricket. And you sing well. Simple present tense is also used to express some general truth or a fact. For example, birds fly. The sun rises in the east. The sun sets in the west. Water freezes at 100 degrees. The moon shines in the sky. These sentences express some general truth or a fact. Birds do fly, not just now. This is how they move. Birds fly. This is also a general truth. It is a fact. The sun rises in the east. Another fact is that the sun sets in the west. Or water. Water freezes at 100 degrees Celsius. This is also a general truth. It is a fact. Or the moon. The moon shines in the sky. Tenses have a lot to do with conjugation. Conjugation means a variation of a verb. It means the way verb changes to show number, person, tense, and so on. For example, verb to be. This is the conjugation of the verb to be. There is singular and plural. In singular we will say I am, you are, he is, she is, it is. In plural we will say we are, you are and they are. This is the conjugation of a verb to be. I am, you are, he is, she is, it is. We are, you are, they are. So we will not say I are. 
we will say I am. We will not say we am. We will say we are. Or, for example, verb to play. This is the conjugation of the verb to play. In singular, we will say, I play, you play, he plays, she plays, it plays. In plural, we will say, we play, you play, they play. Here we can see that the verb play remained the same. Only here it changed. Here there is ending S. He plays, she plays, it plays. Sentences can be Affirmative or positive, negative and interrogative. Let's see what does that mean. This is an example of affirmative or positive sentence. I like carrots. How to use the tense? Verb 1 means first form of the verb. This is first form of the verb. Like. Not liked, but like. Like is first form of verb. We use first form of verb such as like, with all plural nouns, pronouns, and I. We use first form of the verb and ending S or ES with all singular nouns and pronouns. This is an example. I like carrots. This is an example of negative sentence. I don't like carrots. With all plural nouns, pronouns and I, we use do not plus plus the verb, first form of the verb. I don't like carrots. Do not and first form of the verb. This goes with all plural nouns, pronouns and I. With all singular nouns and pronouns we will use does not. We will not use don't, we will use does not. For example, here we have I. I is the subject. If we say he, we will have to change don't into doesn't. He doesn't. We will always say he doesn't, she doesn't, and it doesn't. We will never say, I doesn't. We will say, I don't. And one example of interrogative sentence. Do you like carrots? Here we have, do and a subject. Do and you. You is the subject. 
do and subject goes for all plural nouns, pronouns and I. After the subject comes V1, first form of the verb. We can see it clearly. We said do plus subject. Here, you is a subject and like is first form of a verb. Subject and after subject there will be first form of the verb. Like is first form of the verb. Like, play, see, stay, stand, these are all first form of the verbs. However, if there is a she or a he, we will say does she, we will not say do she, we will say does she, does she like carrots or does he like carrots, we will not say do he like carrots. We will say, does he like carrots? This means, does plus subject and a verb, first form of the verb. This is a conjugation of verb to do. In singular we will say I do, you do, he does, she does, it does. We do, you do and they do. The only difference we find is here. Does. Does is used with he she and it. I do, you do, he does, she does, it does. We do, you do, they do. I do like carrots. You do like carrots. He does like carrots. She does like carrots. It does like. Here we will use does with he, she and it. In plural we will again say we do like carrots, you do like carrots and they do like carrots. Negative sentence will form the same way. I don't, you don't, he doesn't, she doesn't, it doesn't, we don't, you don't, and they don't, they don't like carrots. This is the conjugation of verb to do. We said conjugation has a lot to do with tenses. Conjugation means the way verb changes to show number, person, tense and so on. Today we spoke about tenses. We spoke about simple indefinitive tenses and we spoke about one of them. We spoke about simple present tense. Simple present tense is used to express an action which happens over a period of time as a habit or a fact. In other words, simple present tense is used to express a habitual action. We said simple present tense is used for actions done again and again for a long time. And 
it is used to express some general truth or fact. Dear students, this will be all for today. See you soon!